Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we are going to see how can you run your tests in multiple browsers using TestNG and we will also see how can you run your test in multiple browser in parallel. So let's get started and I will go to my Eclipse and here I have a Java project and I will create a new class. So you can create your class anywhere and I have a demo package. I will right click here and go to new and go to class and of course testng should already be added as a plugin and the library should also be added this is a prerequisite that we have already covered earlier so i will create a new class by the name testng multi browser demo and here i will create a method public void setup so here I will initialize my browser and I will also create another method public void test1 and I will now give testng annotation. So the setup I want to run before test so here I will say at before test and make sure that you import the annotation from org testng.annotations and this is my test method so here I will say this is test and again I will import the annotation from testng okay now here in the setup I have to set the browser so what I will do is for example I will first create a variable for web driver I will say web driver driver equals uh, let me say null here and I will import this web driver from org open QS selenium and inside the test I will create a test selenium test I will say driver dot get and I will go to the URL https google.com and here I can also create a teardown method I will say teardown and this here I will give the annotation at after test okay and inside this I will say driver dot close and also I will print out test completed successfully okay and here I will just wait for some time I will say thread dot sleep and I will wait for let us say four seconds and I can throw the exception here okay so now I have to do the setup here and what I will do is I will take a variable or take a input parameter in this function setup which will be I will name it as browser name and based on whatever is the value in browser name I will set the multiple browser so I will say here sys out and I will print out the browser name I will say browser name is and I will say this is equal to whatever the browser name I will get here and then based on whatever the browser name I will say if browser name I can say equals equals or I can also use the function dot equals and we also have a function dot equals ignore case so this is better so just in case somebody makes a mistake with the case it will ignore it and I say if it is equals to chrome then I will have to set chrome browser so for that I will uh, just copy some code from my earlier test and here I will take this project path from here so this is a variable where I'm getting the location of my project or this framework and then in case it is Chrome I will use this so I'll just tell you what I'm doing so in case the browser name is set to Chrome I am setting the web driver dot chrome dot driver property equal to wherever my chrome driver dot exe is and you can see my chrome driver dot exe is inside the drivers Chrome driver here okay so I'm not going into too much details on the selenium code because this is something we have already covered earlier in our earlier session I am just very quickly writing this code 
and of course I will have to import the Chrome driver and similarly I will say else if and I will copy this and I will say else if the browser name equals to Firefox then I will copy the code for setting it to Firefox browser and this is the code and let me just copy this here and then finally I will say else if the browser name equals to IE then here I have to start the IE browser and here is the code for Internet Explorer browser let me just copy it here and yes and I have to import Internet Explorer driver from org open selenium and now my code is ready so this is my setup function where I am setting the browser based on whatever browser name I will get in the parameter but where I will get this parameters from so for that we have a test ng annotation called parameters if you press control spacebar on your keyboard you will get this test ng annotation parameters and here you can give the parameter name so I will say this is browser name and you can even give it uh, before this before test annotation I think this should work fine yes this is working fine like this as well so what I'm saying is take the parameter browser name from test ng and then here I'm getting it here and based on the browser name we have got we are setting the driver or the browser accordingly okay now how to get this parameter browser name for that we will create our test ng xml file and we know how to create that I will do a right click on the class I will go to test ng and convert to test ng and here you can select uh, now in my case I already have test ng dot xml 1 2 and 3 so I will name it as test ng 4 dot xml you can give it any name and here I will say this is sweet one test one and I will keep this as classes and everything as it is and say finish you can actually manually also create this XML file so this is what my file looks like so here uh, I just don't need this thread count for now okay so this is my simple file uh, test ng XML file now here I will provide my parameters inside my test tag so this is my test tag just below the test tag I will say parameters if you press control spacebar it will auto complete and here I will say browser name and I can provide the value for example I will say Chrome here okay and yeah that's it so you can see this is how you can provide the parameter from test ng file and now I will run this so you can see we have already added our class here and if I do a right click here run as test ng suite let us see what happens so you see it has got the chrome browser or the chrome as the name and it is starting chrome browser and going to google.com and after four seconds it closes the browser and we have a successful test if I go to the console you can see browser name is chrome test completed successfully and everything is running fine similarly if I have to change it I will just say this is Firefox now and I will run this again and let us see what happens so now it has got Firefox so it is now opening the Firefox browser going to google.com it will wait for four seconds and then close it and everything is successful and if I go to the console you can see it is Firefox here okay now we are able to run our tests on multiple browser but now what to do if you want to run the test on multiple browser and that too in parallel so in the earlier session we have already seen that you can run your test in parallel and for that what you have to do is in your test ng xml in the suite tag you can say you can create a parameter parallel equals and you can give what component you want to run parallelly so you can see you have got all this uh, here I will say parallel let me do it again yes so I will say parallel and I will say this is tests and also you can set the 
thread count so you can set that thread count to whatever number of threads you want to run in parallel for now I will just keep it as 3 okay and here what I will do now is I will copy this test this test tag which starts here and ends here I will copy this and paste it again and here I will say this is Chrome here I will say this is Firefox and I will copy it one more time and here I will say this is IE and the name I can also change I will say this is test on Chrome I will say this is test on Firefox and this I will say test on IE so now I have three tests which are running with different parameters or with different parameter browser name and I will save this and let me try to run this now and see what happens I will say run as test ng suite and let us see what happens so you see it has opened a Chrome browser as well as a Firefox browser in parallel and I think it is trying to open an IE as well and then it is saying test completed successfully for IE there was some issue but yes we can see the Chrome browser and Firefox ran in parallel and that is why you can see all this is getting printed at the same time so it has started Chrome, Firefox, IE and then it is running them in parallel and you can see this is running fine also just to verify that it is running on multiple threads you can print the thread number here so inside your before test I will just print the thread number so I will say plus here or I can just print a new statement so here I will say thread ID is and I will say plus thread dot current thread dot get name or I will say get ID okay and now I will go back and run it again so I can also see what is the thread ID which is running this test I will say run as test ng suite so it opens Chrome it also opens Firefox so you can see this is Firefox and then this is Chrome and it is now running and if I go to the console you can see it is running Chrome with thread ID 10 it is running on IE with thread ID 12 and it is running on Firefox with thread ID 11 so these are different threads running in parallel okay so this is how you can run your test in multiple browsers and that too in parallel I hope this session was very useful for you I will suggest that you do some hands-on with some more examples and if you face any issues you can let me know in the comments and I will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching